Let's take a look inside the first board book adaptation of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, featuring 32 pages of artwork by Joey Chow and a very, very, very condensed version of the story. There have been storybook adaptations of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe done before, but this is the first board book that's geared towards really young kids, officially ages 0 to 4. So I guess for Narnie Webbers, the real question is, how would you feel about this being your child's first introduction to Narnia? One day, playing hide and seek, Lucy, well, she actually found it while they were exploring the house, just so you know. Harper Collins describes this as a, quote, gentle retelling for young children. So the story is covered in about 35 sentences, and anything violent or potentially frightening has been toned down. Mr. Tumnus cries because of the witch's rule over Narnia, but never talks about kidnapping. The witch's claim to Edmund is a lot less dramatic. She just says Edmund belongs to her because he is selfish. Aslan does take Edmund's place, but his death is not depicted. Instead, he is, quote, taken away by the witch. And the Battle of Baruna is not mentioned at all and only hinted at in the artwork. How's it taste? There's an interesting bit when Aslan is introduced, and the book describes him as, quote, big and bright like the sun, and he makes you feel safe. Some Narnie Webbers have voiced concerns about the word safe, since in the original story, Mr. Beaver famously says that he isn't safe. In Narnie Webb's interview with Douglas Gresham, he says this introduction will, quote, prevent the little ones from having nightmares about a huge, dangerous lion. And of course, Aslan is really exactly that, but also a great deal more as well. Essentially, I think Gresham is saying that, you know, little kids automatically think of lions as big, scary, and intimidating. So you kind of get that for free. So the challenge then for the board book is to present the other side of Aslan, the good. This book has sparked a really interesting discussion in the Narnie Web forum. Some Narnie Webbers are concerned that reading this book to a young child will spoil the original book for them before they're even old enough to read it. And I think that's a completely valid concern. But I personally am not too worried about this because number one, the story in this board book is so quick and vague. And number two, I think the original book is so powerful and so well written that it will still work for most readers even if they have a memory of a vague board book version of the story. So is this the ideal way to be introduced to Narnia? Probably not. But does it do any real harm? Personally, I don't think so. But what do you think about the line, the Witch, the Wardrobe board book? Post a comment below or in the Narnia web forum.